All right, what is going on? Still, actually, you know what? It's gonna be another hoodie video. It's pretty cold. Um, this is gonna be a little video showing the progress that's been made, talking about the uh, design and testing iteration. I'm calling I'm calling it five because there's been a few changes, but I think this is actually like design three. This might be the third video, but I've gone through a couple iterations, and if you guys have been around since the beginning, you've seen them. But if, in case you don't care and you've seen them and you just want to get to the point, let me post the time right here. And that'll be for testing, but I'm just going to start. I'm actually going to take the time in the cold to get you guys a better video. But I'm going to show you all the other designs. And if I really cared, I'd honestly go back and fix the mistake I just made just now. But I think you'll get the idea. This was the first generation. Had a base and a platform. And then I think this was like 1.5, like this same colors. You can see the same, if I use the same color scheme, throughout a different project. If it's different colors through the thing, it's normally the same project, but I've been using strictly blue for all recent projects, so. This would sit on the pedestal, has the same four, the same four cutouts in there. Get my big head out of the way. And it would sit on there, and the impeller would just, or the, yeah, we'll call it the impeller. Put it on this way. So, it's backwards right now, but if you flipped it, it would sit like this and cover the blade spinning. So this way it was a little cover, circular, the original design. Then, and the first blades was this Pelton wheel, which only has a very slight curvature, but the blades are pointier on this one. And then I made a hub, which I know, you have eight holes, so you put three screws in for balancing purposes. I've made some great decisions on this, but uh, this would sit in here, same thing, as the other one, just a little different. Then, I actually, I don't know if it was this one, but I broke, I think it was all the same color, and then I broke one of the halves playing with it. I plugged it into a Milwaukee battery. Then we came over to this design, which is a separate hub. And there's supposed to be screws, but it's such a snug fit, I haven't needed them. My camera might fall over in the wind. So, but yeah, if you guys want to keep keep supporting and continuing it, the next thing I'm getting is a new tripod because this one's kind of junk and it's sketchy. I have to put the camera down when I walk away because it fell over in one of my other videos. If I can fa find the clip, I'll put it in here. But it actually smashed the lens, so they don't really doesn't really open all the way. But the camera still films, so can't complain. Um, but yeah, so after this design, it switched over to. Well, let me go assemble it, and I'll be right back. Everything's falling, so oh, oh god. All right, so it actually it looks like it cropped it out a little bit. This that's what I was talking about with the lens. So something this is for you guys like iteration three or revision three. Um, for me, this is probably like five, just because the different impellers, a lot of changes I make in between projects. But this one goes to a square for whatever reason, I don't know why I went from a round to a square. But, and then it has this plate, which is just the, mo or the motor holder to the base so it doesn't spin. Just makes it simpler. But then, these were, I, it was the fourth time I think, I think it was this one we used. Um, I got that in and it worked for the last video, but it's just, the square design is not great. I want to add more feet, like maybe if it was even middle in the corners. But then a lot of you guys said, get the water out as fast as possible. You agreed that it should be a round, not a um, square object, which made sense in the first iteration I made, but I don't know why it didn't carry over, but I'm glad you guys comment. Your comments are great. I read through all of them. Sometimes I just hit it, I'll just like it, but I do actually read every comment and uh, do research to try and make them better. So now this one is a lot lighter uses the same motor plate, which I'm gonna swap over right now. All right, this is revision five, but I think more like three. Um, but one of the things that revision two, or three and two lack, when you see the nozzles, is I can't angle the length and the um, depth that the nozzle sits in, whereas revision one was actually perfect for finding that perfect spot. So I might actually, make a uh, revision six or four we'll call it four we're just gonna go one through three right now it's too confusing so i might make a revision four that's kind of like this but kind of like this so the nozzle can be varied and change the angle because i'd print a new plate and this nozzle moves i do need to add more braces in because kind of bent and with the amount of water pressure like i think it was like 50 maybe 50 60s i've never measured it but that's what it should be about um it's that's where it's been but it still pushes that so this one shouldn't move really at all because it's built into there, it's pretty snug. But that's the thing is if I want to make a new one, I either have to heat it up or I have to print a whole new one of these, which isn't bad. I printed it slow, this is actually PTG, while all of the other parts have been, this is PLA Professional, the other ones are just 
maybe matte PLA or just normal PLA, but uh, this one's actually PTG, and they're all print. So far, these have actually a lot of these are actually printed on um, my Anycubic Chiron, which is an old printer. It doesn't do amazing. A lot of the new ones have been printed on the Bamboo Labs, and this, if it was any bigger, would not have fit. And now to talk about my whoopsie. So I was looking at new motors, and this one I probably should have read a little better. 12 volt slash 24 volt DC permanent magnet motor generator. Free energy. There's no such thing, but thanks thermodynamics. But hopping over here, I was like, you know what? Let me do the smart thing. Let me order another motor. This one is about the same, looks the same. We'll get there. So this one, the voltage is 24 volts. And same 20, or this one I think claims 350. I'm not sure. Somewhere I think this one claimed 350 watts, but same thing as the 250, the like literally the, the same. But it claims 24 volts. So I was like, oh, well maybe if I put that motor on at half the RPM, it'll make 12 volts. Well, I put the drill on it and it turns out it's the same motor. So I might send it back. Oh God, I don't know what the, I don't know what that was. Um. But I think I might keep the motor. I'm debating if I was going to send it back or keep it for a future project. Maybe I'll need two. Who knows? So it wasn't that expensive. I don't know if it's great, good or not. Let's see, how's it? Oh, well. But I think I'll keep maybe as a spare. So I think you guys might see this coming up in another video. Even though it takes a couple minutes to unscrew these and switch them over. I might just dedicate one to separate projects. With that being said, let's do some tests and see how much better or worse the design is. I'm not a betting person, but I think I might have messed it up with the angle, so good suggestions, but let's go find out how bad this is. So I also think I've come up with an idea so I can avoid testing outside in the winter. Actually, it might be. I think today's technically spring. But to avoid going outside in the winter, I'm thinking of an idea where I can just make a Alright, so I'm not really sure where that cut off because the battery died. <sighs> in desperate need of an upgrade. But yeah, try and like this video, share, subscribe, because at 200 or maybe I'll get bored next weekend, but it's getting it's getting hard. I just started working, so now I'm pretty busy, especially off the bat. Um, And I don't know when things will calm down, but this way if I can test inside, it's really quick. I can just hook the hose up, either flip a pump on, maybe a drill pump, but I was thinking a clear container where I can test all these water things, like where it can be up high enough that it drains without it being submerged in water. Um, but something like that, so I could test even on rainy days, test it on winter months, so then I don't have to go outside, deal with the hose. Because every time I come out to film, I have to do the hose and then drain it, and then shut the water off, which I actually didn't turn on. But, um, yeah, so it's just one of those things where I can, let me make sure, I don't think I did. I think it was just, uh, yeah, that was just, okay. Apparently my spigot inside leaks, because either it's really kinked, or nothing came out but with that being said yeah make sure you guys like and comment because it really helps me out and if you guys think that's a good idea make sure to let me know and i'll try and make it happen but i'll get the water turned on and let's go test and you can see absolutely nothing because it's blurry oh there you go there's the test turbine you can see some of the other projects this is if you it's all 30 of you i think vacuum pump i'm working on a vacuum cannon so you will likely see that in a future video but now the water should be turned on and should be good to go. I actually haven't tested this one by myself, so you're gonna see it fail or work with me. Sometimes I watch it to see how bad it's gonna be or how good something is, and then I go from there about filming. Sometimes I film videos you guys want to see, but there's a bit of a, I don't know. All right, let's head over and see how it looks. It looks okay. I might need a bigger cutout right there. So when I said it was gonna be really good or really bad, I might've been wrong. This looks like it actually is working pretty well. And if it is working pretty well, then I've the reason that the other ones have not worked well. But uh, let's go up to the power meter and see if I was right or wrong. Because I'm starting to think that I might be uh, wrong on this one. But we have the power analyzer. Probably got to get thicker gauge wires at some point. But 
let's see what we can get out of this. All right, I got it all hooked up and probably could bring it back a little bit farther. There, I can show you that. All right, let's turn it on and see how it does. All right, so with no load, So with no load, it's making about 9.2 watts. Now as you can see, I have the load hooked up, which is a 12 volt, 25 watt pad, and the screen's barely visible, reading about seven volts. But I think that comes down to over here, and listen to the sound change. It's so reading about 9.2 volts now, and 13 watts. Now, if you guys recall, that was actually, I'm freezing, I'm soaking wet too. But um, as you guys can recall, that was something I mentioned in the beginning, is it's hard to change um, the angle of this one now. You can't just adjust the screw. So, hold on, let me think. So with this one, I need to bring the angle in a little more, which means I have to reprint new housing, which I'm okay with doing. But what I actually have is a second one of these. So we're gonna double the um, power, the needed power output. So. Let's see if that makes much of a change, or if it stays the same, and then I might cheat a little bit. See what we can uh, get for power, just to make sure this motor's not a complete piece of junk. All right, let's test. All right, so now both of them are hooked up. Uh, I wonder if it's gonna have enough voltage to power the screen, but again, that's what we're here to find out. And I wanna see how much more power this is gonna take. Does not sound happy. The screen's trying to light up, but it's not going well. Okay, you guys. All right, so if you can't, uh, well, there we go. If you can't do it right, well, you might as well cheat, right? So, let's see. I want to see if this will actually show an output. Both of the heating pads are on it. So, in theory, it should be about 50 watts if it was running at 12 volts. So, I don't know if I'm going to be able to hold this. See how it wants to spin? There's a bit of torque on it. Um, hold on. Let me wedge this somewhere better and then try that again. All right, I got it kind of wedged against there, and now it doesn't really want to spin as much, so. It looks so much faster on camera. Like, that's barely crawling with it. All right, let's see if we can get this to power on. I mean, 12 volts would be nice, but.
Well, I think that's gonna do this video. It actually ended up being a bit longer than I expected, so if you like shorter videos, let me know in the bottom. If you like the longer form content, I'll try and be more detailed. I just don't wanna take up too much time, but as always, let me know what you guys think. You guys have helped so much on the, this project and all the other projects, and hopefully there's a lot we can change from them. So I have a couple of ideas that I do wanna test. That'll probably be the next videos. My little mishap with buying the other motors is unfortunate, so, but maybe I'll get a 48 volt to try and cheat. Cheat. Um, yeah, so I guess I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna keep working on some other videos. The Tesla turbine video. There's a couple, I have some pretty cool ideas that I wanna test coming up, so stick around, and if you guys have ideas or anything you want me to test, let me know down below, and like I said, I read every single comment. I try and reply to all of them, and if I don't reply, I still read the information and take it in, so. Let's try and get to 200 subscribers. We are almost there. I think it was at like 160 last time I looked, which is really great. When I started this, I didn't think I'd even make it this far, but I'm trying to get to 200 by the end of March. So all you have to do is hit subscribe and you're helping me out and it'll keep making me make videos like this. Come on, camera focus. And someday, if I get to a thousand subs, maybe I'll buy new audio equipment. Maybe I'll buy a new camera, but as it goes on, I'm gonna make better quality videos, better content. So. Let me know how you guys like it, and I'll try and make it in your favor. So, see you guys next time.